Hello, everybody. Glitched AC, what's up? Hopefully I can be heard. I'm going to be making doubly sure. But hey, looks like I can be. Sick. All right, so hello, everybody. It's been a fucking while since we've done a stream like this where we play three scary games. Ah, it's Sir Hedgelord scaring me with the Ooga Booga. <laughs> How's it going, Hedgelord? I'm gonna... All right, so... We are going to be playing three scary games. Uh, probably going to be ending with Poppy's Playtime Chapter 3, because that's probably why you're all here. So, we're just gonna get right into it. <laughs> Yo, the stoner cat game. <laughs> How's it going, dude? It's been going pretty good. Uh, I've been getting a lot of video work done, which is always good, uh, because I have a lot more free time now. Uh, just, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna get started with our first game. Uh, how's everybody, how are you guys doing, honestly, out there? Uh, it's actually pretty snowy out right now. Uh, we got about, like, eight inches of snow. It was pretty sick. Good to hear glitch, AC. So we're gonna start with, please work. Slide in the woods. Oh, sick, awesome. All right, so we're starting with slide in the woods. Hopefully you guys can hear the game. Uh, right now it's just like, uh, like the sound of like grass hoppers and like bugs and stuff. So like if you can hear that, uh, let me know. I could also check for myself maybe. it also might just be quiet so hold on one second there we go here it should probably be about that quiet It's hard to say. I just want to make sure you guys are able to hear the the audio. Maybe if I try doing it this way. playing Power World recently. I've heard some pretty good things and some pretty okay things about that game. There. Alright, that should be fine. Hopefully uh, it doesn't blow out any of y'all ears, but like, fuck it, let's just get right into it. Hopefully it's in sync. I'm praying that it is. Alrighty. So this is Slide in the Woods. The only thing I know about this game is that... Ugh, the only thing I know about this game is that there's a slide in the woods. Yes, I know screen. <laughs> I, I, I got it. But yeah, 
There's just this slide in the woods. And it says, why not go down? So, uh, let's go down. We Well, that was fun. There, that, there wasn't anything spooky about that at all. Uh, okay. So I guess we'll just... We'll just do it again. Okay. <gasps> we. I guess it took a few hours to get down the slide that time. Where is the protag's parents? I am my own parents. Either that or I, I am imagining myself as a 28 year old in the woods finding a slide uh, and going down it. Uh, things are already looking a little spooky. Uh, but I'm sure it'll be fine if I go down one more time. Whee! It's dark now. Whee! Hello? Oh, he's really dark now. Don't do that to me. It's a flashlight. A lost flashlight. Luckily, it still has some battery left. That's good. What's, uh... Alright. So, how... What if I go down the slide again? East of the slide. Okay. Things are very dark now, and I cannot see. <laughs> the darkness is coming. Oh, no. What is this? Kingdom Hearts? <gasps> We Oh! There's a thing up there now. But what could it be? What is what is this? Is it a newspaper? Ockfield News. Small town tragedy. Small town in mourning as mass missing persons case at local park continues to go unsolved. Reports say both children and adults missing. A detective working on the case sheds light on its peculiarity, stating it's as if they disappeared into thin air. He asks that if anyone has any information pertaining to the case, or if anyone spots one of the victims to please contact law enforcement immediately. All right, I'm, I'm sure that has nothing to do with this slide at um, at all, really. Uh, so, uh, we I'm just waiting. Hello? Hello? I'm waiting for the moment that I go down the slide and, uh, something's just gonna fucking pop up as I'm going down and it's gonna scare me and I might pee a little. Also, I could have sworn I just heard breathing and I don't like that. <laughs> I, 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 might, I might be done. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we... <laughs> Okay. Nothing's happening. I keep hearing weird noises. I don't. I, there's something really disconcerting <laughs> about this. I think it's just because of just how fucking dark it is. And just the vulnerability of going down this slide and not being. Like, once I start going down, that's fucking it. Jesus Christ. Don't forget to hit the like button, by the way. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you hit that like button, maybe I'll survive the next time I go down the slide. All right, here we go. We <laughs> Oh, it's really quiet now. Am I missing something? 
Oh. Oh, his stairs are a little f fucking bloody right now. Call me Poppy the way I play time. Hi, Smashlander. I'm already scared, uh, upset, among other things. Jerry, go home. Uh, Jerry's not my name, so uh, I'm not gonna go home. Ooh, what the fuck is that? What is that? What the fuck is even that? Is that? What are you? Huh? I'm okay. I'm not, uh, maybe, um, not my turn. Not my turn. Uh, I'm fine with that. Is there something at the bottom of the slide? Yeah, no, I'm okay. I think, uh, I think I've had enough slide time, uh, for one, for one day. I think, um, oh boy, I, I might be feeling a bit nauseous, actually. I, I think, I, okay. Uh, but... I just saw a thing get grabbed. Why would I go down there? What is that? All right, fine. <laughs> I don't want it. It's long now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where am I? I hate this. I hate the... Oh, I hate the look of falling. I hate it. Oh, God. Where am I going? Am I going to the back rooms? Am I going to get screamed at? What the fuck is even this? Uh, where am I? The lab? Uh, crawl meter? Hold and then release space while moving forward to crawl? Why do I have a crawl meter? Undertale? Yeah, I guess I'm going under somewhere. Uh, and this is a story. Okay. Also, welcome, Jeremiah. Welcome to the stream. Don't forget to hit the like button. I hope you enjoy your time while you're here. I'm scared. All right, I'm just crawling through the, uh, whatever this is. This is a slide, apparently. Yellow. Thank you. <laughs> hey, thanks, Glitch DC. Is that a heart I hear? Oh, buddy boy. I'm just climbing up, huh? Just going up and up and up. What comes up must come down. Yeah, my feet don't touch the ground. See the world spinning upside down. A mighty just without a sound. How long? Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Huh? 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 It's not letting me down there. What if I leap forward? Ah! <laughs> Where the fuck am I now? What is this? What is this, a pipe? The stairs over there? What happened to me? Was that- Was that the crawl of it? Was that the crawl of 87? Undertale Yellow is a good fan game. I've been meaning to play it. Uh, hi oh hi Mai! Welcome to the scaries. I hope you're feeling better. Oh man. Okay. I guess we're climbing the stairway to heaven. I don't know. Oh yeah, Hrigi. Is that gonna be me later? Inaba from Persona 4 looks a bit different. What is this? I was at a park like five minutes ago. Oh, this looks like one of those like, like Aztec sacrifice temples. Hello? What is that noise? 
Nah, that's Jerry. Bye, Jerry. Still dying, but I thought I'd come in to say hi and get spooked. I appreciate. Oh, there's that's a door, a doorway opened over here. I'm sure it'd be fine if I just. What is that? What is that? Is that a heart? I don't like it. Remove chain. Sure. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna get rid of this red pulsating diggery do. Uh, I guess goodbye. What is this? Press E to interact. Feed them? Feed. Alright, yeah, I'll feed them. Feed who? Oh, the monster that's down. Oh, is that just a bunch of bodies? And I'm feeding whatever's down there? I guess it's good that I'm on the monster side. See you later. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, you're not alone. I I think I just killed a bunch of people. Suddenly, I'm the bad guy. Bro's just hungry. Yeah, man. I mean, like, dude's gotta eat. You know? Can I go home now? I'm gonna go home now. Ah! What is that? What is that? I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like it. I'm gonna leave now. I don't like it. Go away. Go away. See you later. I don't like it. I don't like it. I didn't like him. He is one of my least favorite things. Goodbye. See you later. I'm out of here. Goodbye. I don't want anything to do with that. I don't want to know his name. I don't know what his deal is. I just... Goodbye. No thank you. Not a fan. I'm good. No thanks. I will see him at the next production meeting. Uh, but for now, I'm just... No thank you. No fucking thank you. See you later. I'm out. I'm outie. Uh, call my agent. Don't talk to me. I'll be in my trailer. Uh, no thank you. I'm not fucking with that. 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 I'm not... No, I don't want him to be my valentine. I... I... I I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much okay uh, with uh, him not being my valentine. It's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Get down there. Where am I? <laughs> I'm just still falling. I don't like the falling. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. How long? How long? It's the imposter from Among Us. That's how I feel. Uh, more? Is that just the slide again? All right. Wee. Oh my God. We made it. We're on the other side of where the sl where did I come out of? <laughs> where did I come out of? Is that it? That's the game? <laughs> I'm so confused. What was, what was that? Oh, the game just fucking closed. The game just closed on me. Okay. Sure. I have fallen down. There was no slide to begin with. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, okay. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, what a perfect time for an ad, or at least I got an ad, uh, on my side. We found the one piece. Yeah, apparently. Oh, uh, that was just more nerve wracking than anything. I, sure. You know what? Fuck it. The one piece is real. The real slide was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I gotta appreciate those those uh, those boys. 
What would be scarier if it, the slide was metal and it was the summer burn alive? Oh my god. Oh, I, oh, it was always the worst. I've had that. I've had that happen and it sucks cock. Okay, now it's gun time. I love how you know. I love how you know that was next. I mean, I said it in the beginning, but like, I love how you know. All right. So this is a game that I've been super, super interested in playing. Uh, just because I've heard from like other Let's Players and stuff like that, that this game is insanely, insanely good. Uh, and it's only a dollar. Uh, hey man, it's been a while since I haven't been in your guys' streams. How are you doing today? Oh, hi Connor. Yeah, it has been a while. I'm glad that you've, uh, I'm glad that you've graced us with your presence once again. I've been doing pretty okay. Uh, I'm very excited to be playing horror games today, so I hope you enjoy, uh, your time getting scared as much as I enjoy my time getting scared. Hey Bottles, have you ever played Signalis? No, but I've heard good things about that game too. All right, maybe for a, a future, future uh, stream. That's a big recommend. I've heard nothing but good things about it. The smiling critters in this game just remind me of the Care Bears. I don't even know what you're talking about at this point. It is better than a AI than Hello Neighbor. I don't know. Out of all of the mascot horror series, I think I know. I would say the least about Hello Neighbor. Uh, the only thing I know about Hello Neighbor is literally what was talked about in that game theory video, like, a couple days ago. Um, mostly just because, like, I heard, like, at first it was really good, and then it kind of became bad. Uh, no context, let's go. I've heard that Hello Neighbor is really bad. Uh, from Poppy's Playtime, Chapter of the Smiling Critter. Oh, okay. Anyway. Buckshot Roulette. Let's fucking go. No context. Also, by the way, uh, just to make it very clear, if you guys have seen these games before, if you guys have played these games before, please, no spoilers. No spoilers at all. Spoilers are no fun. And will lead you to getting uh, kicked, and if you are a repeat offender, banned. Uh, it has happened before. Uh, literally in the first stream that I played Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, someone spoiled that burn trap was in the game for me. Spoilers are cringe. Hell yeah. Alright. Afraid? Uh, I don't know yet. Oh, hey. button and mute button ready to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm vibing. Oh, is this like a point and clicker? Oh, it is. Oh, that's cool. I thought it would be like a... I would just be Roman. Oh, okay. Hello, friend. Please sign the waiver. You got it, buddy. <gasps> My name is B. O. T. T. L. I'm only one today. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see how this works. One life round, two planks. Okay. I insert the shells in an unknown order. Okay. Shooting yourself with a blank skips the dealer's turn. Okay, so should I shoot myself or should I shoot the dealer? So, chances are, if I shoot myself and there's a blank... God. So this week a Nintendo Direct is happening. Uh, if it's going to be a general or mini or partnership... But I hope it's a good one since this is the last direct for the Nintendo Switch before Switch 2. Uh, was that confirmed yet? That there's going to be a Nintendo Direct or is it still rumors? Uh, by the way, I'm going to shoot... 
I'm gonna shoot the dealer. Here's my thinking of why. Because if I shoot myself and there's a blank, then that skips the dealer's turn and I go again, I can shoot him. But if I hit him with another blank, then he has full reign to shoot me. Whereas if I shoot him and it's a blank, and then he shoots me, it's a blank, and then I can shoot him. And I feel like that's a more guaranteed win. Yeah, I, I figured that we didn't know. I like how stop, mo stop motion the animation is, really sells the creepiness. It is really cool. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot the dealer. Yeah! Was that it? Oh, he looks angry. Oh no. Uh. Woo! Uh, because people are saying that might happen on the 15th, but I haven't seen any announcements from Nintendo yet. Uh, the fact that Splatoon trailer released today tells me there's no major direct. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, literally, like, rumors are nice, Le leaks are nice, but I really don't believe anything until Nintendo says anything themselves, which is also why I'm not really believing Switch 2 yet. I, I'm literally just waiting for Nintendo to say something themselves. It was two blanks, so like... Yeah, okay, so now it's three live rounds and two blanks. They enter the chamber in a hidden sequence. Uh-huh. Okay, so there's more of a chance that he will get hit because it's three out of five, which is a 60% chance. The Tekken 8 DLC rocker got leaked. Don't like the leaks. I, dude, I hate leaks. Leaks are so fucking stupid. All right, I'm taking the shot. Fuck! Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Uh oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, so now it has to be a live round. See you later. That's my win, baby. Bottle wins. Let's go. All right. Two. Let's make this a little more interesting. Two items each. More items before every load. Okay. A magnifying glass and I, uh, a knife? Uh, I mean, people are saying that there could be a presentation for Switch 2. Again, I, oh, I wasn't paying attention. What was it? Hold on. I have to wait for the stream to catch up so I could know what it was because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it was one life, one blank. Okay. Nagito luck. <laughs> All right, what is this? Shotgun deals two damage. Check the current round in the chamber. Oh, fucking easy peasy. What do I got? That is a blank. Perfect. So then I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have it do two damage because I know that it's a live round now. See you later. Ha <laughs> Legally distinct bottles is just bottle. <laughs> Royalty free bottles. Oh man. Okay. What do we got? Another knife. God. What would the uh you killed God? Let's see. Two live rounds and two blanks. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, God is dead. That's lore. I, I love. I love that exchange. 
Just, oh, God's dead. I guess that's lore. Um, let me think. I don't want to use an item just yet. Do I? Maybe next turn. So I'll shoot the dealer. Nice. I'm trying to guarantee myself wins. Okay, so he can see what it is. Very interesting. What is that? What does that do? A cigar. Okay, so a cigar makes it so that he gains health back. He's gonna shoot himself. He shot himself! So that was... Okay, so they're blank rounds now. So then these have to be blank rounds now. Because it was two and two. Handcuffs. And a soda. Oh, now I can see what the, or beer, uh, what the beer does. Three live, two blank. God damn, get a point. Lose a point. Uh, let's see. You rack the shotgun, ends round on last shell. I rack the shotgun. Okay. Dealer skips the next turn. Uh, let me see what is in there. Blank. Okay. One of the blanks. Uh, I'll have him skip. So I'll shoot him. Fuck. But now he skips this turn. Which means that this must be a shot. Ha! Let's go. That's another win for me, baby. Let's go. I have such a big brain. Long last, we arrive at the final showdown. No more defibrillators. No more blood transfusions. Now me and you, we are dancing on the edge of life and death. Uh-oh. He's mad. What is that? What is this? Dubs, baby. Four items each. Okay. Handcuffs. Uh, the knife. Another knife. And handcuffs. Okay. So I can have him skip two turns. The planning. 
I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best here. All right, so I got a, a beer, another beer, another knife, and a beer. Those three live and four blank. live and too blank now. Are you ready? For what? Huh? One live. One live, one blank. Oh no, you can't choose what you get, it's random. Nice. Cigarettes are good. Cigarettes are very good. 
pretty much cigarettes are health. Four alive, two blank. Let's take a look. That's a blank. Okay, so I'm gonna use a beer then. So now there should only be one blank in there now. I'm gonna get back some health. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take a chance. What have I got to lose? Please. Yeah! comic fan uh what game are you playing right now this is a uh, buckshot roulette all right what did i win money i did what god couldn't and i won the buckshot roulette and i won the money and i also won the shotgun Congratulations, bottle. I made $68,570. 14 shots fired, 32 shells ejected, two doors kicked, two cigarettes smoked, and 660 milliliters of beer drank. So, uh, how Laboratory did a tweet about getting people working on the next Kirby game, so I'm thinking, uh, is this gonna be a sequel to Kirby in the Forgotten Land? If there is one thing that I do not want to think about, is there to be another Kirby game for me to play for the retrospective? Uh, okay, so the, <laughs> the God, it, is God failed the game? Yeah. Oh, boy. That's Buckshot Roulette, I assume. Yep, that's the game. Oh, hell yeah. That was awesome. That was fun. That was a that was a legitimately fun time uh, to play through. It was a, it was a bit of a thinker. Ah, uh, I hope I hope they like adapt that into a longer game. That was really cool. All righty. Stoner cat time. It sure is. Uh, let's see. If you're doing a Kirby retrospective, you have to review all of the Smash games he is in. I don't make the rules. Well, the the Kirby retrospective is al already over. So, um... No. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, if it is, it would be cool to see Alphalyn and Claroline become playable characters. That would be pretty cool. I wouldn't deny it. Uh, them animations were great. Yeah, it was awesome. Alright, so apparently I'm an idiot. And I forgot to install the game beforehand. So, we're gonna unfortunately have to wait a little bit. So, in the meantime, how about a Q&A? Uh, we'll do a Q&A while we wait for the game to load. Because I'm stupid. Uh, so, ask me anything, whether it's about myself, gaming... Kirby, Sonic, anything related to the channel. You could ask me anything you like. YouTube, I don't know. Ask away, because we're gonna have we're gonna be waiting for a bit. Have you played Poppy's Playtime Chapter One and Two? Yes, I have. Uh, in fact, I've played them on the channel. Uh, it's actually what started uh, Three Scary Games. It uh, was because I heard a lot of good, cool and good things about the first Poppy's Playtime. 
Uh, so I decided to do that, but I knew it was short, so I lumped it in with two other horror games. So that's why Three Scary Games exists, is because of Poppy Playtime. Thoughts on Garden of Banban? I've never played it. I think I've watched, like, two minutes of Markiplier play, like, the first one. Uh, it looks weird, and it looks like a game that I may not want to play, but I could be wrong maybe one day. I'll, maybe one day I'll, I'll get into it. Thoughts on the Knuckles six episode series? From what we saw of the trailer so far, it looks really fun. It looks cool. Uh, I cannot wait to see it. Uh, and it'll be a nice birthday present for me because it comes out two days after my birthday. It's so bad. What, Garten of Ban Ban? That's what I've heard. I've heard that it's not good. But, like, isn't there, like, four games already? So it looks like we're getting a Bendy movie. And, oh boy, I hope it doesn't suck. If it does, oh well. I didn't even know about that. Uh, that's another mascot horror game I haven't played. I have not played Bendy and the Ink Machine. My exposure to... The entirety of Bendy and the Ink Machine uh, was when I was editing for Gameplay Buddies when that was still going on. And they did a playthrough of it. Garten of Ban Ban is a cash grab. It costs money. <laughs> Damn, we getting old. Yeah, I'm pretty old. If there's five games? Jesus Christ. Keep them questions coming. Imagine if the Bendy film was fully animated in the, in the 1930s style, but with a horror edge. That would be pretty cool. Like if they just went full rubber hose. They went like full rubber hose animation. I love rubber hose animation. It's like has such a weird like uncanniness that is just like it can it's so hard to replicate but they say that they're chapters sure i guess but they call it like bart garten of ban ban like one two three four and five they don't specify that they're episodes or chapters they market them as if they're like full games I wish that we got another season for the Cuphead show because it was, it was so good on Netflix and then Netflix just decided to not do it. I mean, that's just ne what Netflix does. They just cancel good shows. It's, I don't, I don't understand their business practice. That was exactly how I felt when, um, when they decided to cancel BoJack Horseman. I was like, why? It's like your most popular animated show and you just decided to end it for no reason. I played it, it's alright, but my main issue with Bendy and the Ink Machine is that it isn't replayable. I get, Yeah, I guess there's no replay value. It's like once you play it, it's like you've seen everything, I guess is the kind of vibe. Like you could have all the slapstick of the 30s cartoons, but you, but what would actually happen? It could be if you contorted a body in that way. Oh yeah. I need to know what the fuck is on the door handle. Oh, what, that? Uh, it's just a bunch of bags of comics. <laughs> and keep bad shows, yeah. It's just a bunch of bags. Uh, they got uh, Sonic IDW comics in them. Do you think they should make another Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games installment since we haven't heard anything about one and it's already 2024? I'm guessing we're not getting one for Paris this year. I think there are too many already. I uh, I never really cared for them. It, they're just like generic sports games that they just slap Mario and Sonic in. 
I honestly think it's a really underwhelming uh, first crossover for Mario and Sonic. I think, like, they should just make a platformer together already. Uh, ooh, comic showcase? I mean, it's just the IDW Sonic comics. That's all they are. Uh, what is your opinion on the Mario Party series? Um, one hurts my hand. Two is one of the best ones. Uh, three, I have not played. Four is really good, and I wish they would do the story mode again. I haven't played five. I really like six. I wish they would bring back the eight player from seven. Um, I think Mario Party 8 is really fun. Nine sucks. Ten sucks. Uh, Super Mario Party sucks. And Mario Party Superstars is really fun. Uh, I really need to get back into IDW. I haven't gotten a chance to read anything since the comic where Knuckles teamed up with the Chaotix and Vanilla was about to commit homicide. I think you're only really, like... I think you're really only, like, two issues behind. Like, I that's still pretty recent. I mean, imagine if they did a Nintendo IP Olympic Games, like, Smash Bros. I, I don't really care for... I don't, I'm not really interested in having, like video game characters play in the olympics like it's it's not that cool uh so there's going to be another mythical pokemon in scarlet and violet good for that game i'm not really a big pokemon fan if i'm gonna be honest where did you buy the comic at uh the comic book store that is around the corner from my house how's the installation coming it's going uh, don't trust me i'm watching it as soon as it's done uh we're playing the game i am really uh embarrassed that i didn't have this prepared beforehand because i could have swore i fucking did it uh and then i didn't so here we are with a q a but i also like talking to you guys so you know out with the good in with the good or out with the bad in with the good Mario Party 8 was the Mario Party I played as a kid. I know it's objectively one of the less good ones, but I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Uh, that's the one... That one level where you cut the ropes stressed me out. Dude, I... Uh, I love Mario Party 8. I think it's really... I think it's really fun, and it's, like, the only good motion control Mario Party game that I've really played, where, like, a lot of the, the mini games have a focus on motion control. Whereas, like, like my, my, I really like Mario Party 6, but that's the one that I grew up with. And I especially have fond memories of playing, uh, when, because they released a microphone with that one. Uh, that, like, hardly worked. Like, there was a game where you had to get them to, like, like, walk or, like, run, like, in a, just a track. And you would just had to be like, run, run. And it just wouldn't understand you. It was really fucking funny. Uh, there was other Mario Party games like Mario Party Advance, Mario Party DS, Mario Party Island Tour, Mario Party Star Rush, and Mario Party Top 100. I didn't play any of those games. I completed the Pokédex. I have no life. I've never completed a Pokédex. Uh, once again, I'm not a huge Pokémon fan. I've played a lot of Pokémon, uh, but I'm not, like, itching to play, like, the newest things or get everything. So what is your opinion on those games? I've never played them. So I watched Has Been Hotel and eh. I watched Has Been Hotel. I really liked it. I've been listening to the soundtrack over and over and over again uh, whenever I go to work or whenever I'm working on things. Uh, but I also just really like uh, Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. It, I, it, I just think it's really cool and really fun. Uh, what would you want from a Mario Sonic crossover? I would want a platformer. I would like for them to actually take the gameplay of Mario and the gameplay of Sonic and make it work to where you c it would be both. So that it's like... That and like, I, I think it would be really cool to have Eggman and Bowser like work together or whatever. Like, I just want it to be an actual crossover. Like, I don't want it just to be a... like a sports game or smash you know like i just wanted to be a real crossover i did play mario party ds it's a fun game i'm sure ever gonna play pal world no 
I'm not going to play Power World. Pal World. Uh, mostly because I'm not a fan of the fact that they used AI uh, to make most of their Pokemon designs. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, it's just not my t it's not my kind of game either way. Like those like survival uh, like management games. Like I uh, they're, they're just not my kind of games. Personally, if, personally, if I was designing a Mario slash Sonic game, I would have it that some interdimensional nonsense briefly fuses the worlds. Uh, something, something, chaos control. Now the heroes have to fix it. Yeah, that's all you need. And I, I just want it to be a fun platformer. Uh, my favorite song from Has Been Hotel is Stayed Gone and Loser Baby. Uh, I also really like Stayed Gone and Loser Baby. And if I had to pick a third, it would probably be Hell's Greatest Dad. Uh, alternatively, you could just have the Mario and Sonic swap worlds, kind of like the old Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Uh, I hate that you call that classic Nickelodeon. Oh my god. Please. I grew up with Jimmy and Timmy. Oh, you make me feel so old. Uh, see how they would handle the other enemies. Yeah. That would also be really cool. And just have them, like, towards the end, just, like, come together. Also, yeah, I love Mario Party 8, and it was the first time they showed a new host whose name is MC Ballyhoo, and they made him into a creepy pasta, which is the Mario Party DS. Of course. Why wouldn't they make him a creepy pasta? You know? Fuck it, you know? Man, I used to be, like, so into creepy pastas when I was younger, and then it just, it died so quickly when I actually, like, grew a brain. <laughs> oh, man. The AI thing and copying of models was one guy spreading shit on Twitter was proved false. Oh, okay. That doesn't stop the fact that it's still not my type of game. <laughs> so, either way, whether they did or didn't, uh, whether it was proved false, it's just not my kind of game. Games where you have to, like, focus on, like, survival and management and management of resources and stuff like that. You know, stuff like Rust or, like, Don't Starve. Just not my kind of game. Don't grow up. Don't worry, I grew up with Jimmy and Timmy. Good. Awesome. I'm glad I'm not the only old person here. <laughs> uh, it's getting there. We're about of a third of the way there. So keep them questions coming. I do like just chilling, talking with you guys, answering whatever questions you got. You can ask about anything, too. You can ask about the channel. You can ask about me. Whatever you want. <laughs> oh, wait. Imagine the final fight. Mario uses the Chaos Emeralds and Sonic uses the Superstar. <laughs> oh, God. That would certainly be interesting... Super Mario. Uh, there's a, his name is already Super Mario. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. I just have fucking Huggy Wuggy's face just staring at me. I don't like it. He's just staring at me. Menacingly. Uh, well then, you got... Well then, you got Friday Night Funkin' who do ruin creepypasta stories and turn them into mods, so that explains why creepypastas are not that good now. Bro, I stopped liking creepypastas before Friday Night Funkin'... Friday Night Funkin'? Beep beep. Before Friday Night Funkin' even existed. In fact, I would actually blame Friday Night Funkin' for getting me a bit more interested in Creepypasta now. Uh, same here, I grew up watching those two. Nice. A third of the way, goddamn. It's a big game. What do you want from me? When you said they were using AI, do you mean that they were not paying workers and instead using artificial intelligence? Or do you mean they use, they use AI for inspiration and made things based on it? 
Either way, a little bit questionable, but I think the second one where you use the AI as a tool isn't as bad. Uh, I was hearing that they used AI instead of, like, paying character designers. But apparently, according to Mai, that's fake. So, apparently that's fake news. <laughs> so, happy day. Uh, there wasn't another AI scumbag. Just not my kind of game, though. <sighs> I should have checked this all before, but I didn't do that because I'm a big old fucking idiot. Keep them coming, Granny. Oh, man. I have a question for all of you. What are your favorite video games of all time? I've told you mine. Time for you to give back. What are your favorite games? And why? Using mobile to say night night. Internet problems have said for me to go to sleep. All right, night my. Have a good slip. What is the best console? It can be current generation or previous. Just which do you find the most impressive? Uh, honestly, even though I can't say it's my favorite console, I am 100% floored with just how good of quality games the Super Nintendo consistently had. It's pretty fucking crazy. Like, a lot of the the games that you think of, of, like, the best in the series, are on the Super Nintendo. Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Earthbound, uh, fucking Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Star Fox, like, it's crazy. F-Zero... Well, I mean, they did release Mario Madness V2 last year in December, and it was a creepypasta, but that mod was the best people, including myself, have ever played. I haven't played Mario Madness. Uh, I stopped playing Friday Night Funkin' like a long time ago. Mostly because, one, I was getting sick of the mods because it became way more about, like, being hard than it was, like, being fun, and I just wasn't really liking the direction the community was going in at the moment. Especially since, like, there was times where I was playing Friday Night Funkin' and I would get a good amount of viewers. But then I started getting some, like, some, like, racist people in chat and I just was not liking the environment. Uh, but yeah, other than that, like, it, I just wasn't having fun playing the game anymore. I still open it up from time to time, but, like, mostly just for me. And I usually just play, like, UG and then I move on. Happy early Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh, yeah, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Spread the love. Batman Arkham Knight. That's surprising to hear someone uh, say is their favorite game. I mean, it's a solid fucking game. It's one of my favorites in the Arkham franchise, but, like, I wouldn't expect that. Even if I think City is better in terms of narrative, Arkham Knight is just such a fun game to sit down at 100%. Yeah, I like Arkham, Th Arkham Knight. Will have to be Inscription because it's so rich in lore. Also, I like PO3. I've started getting back into Inscription through, like, watching people play it. And I'm like, it, it really is such a good game. It is really fucking good. 
Sonic Unleashed, Ape Escape 2, Pokemon Sapphire, to name a few. I do really like Sonic Unleashed. It is not my favorite Sonic game by far. My favorite Sonic game is probably Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, Ape Escape 2. Never played Ape Escape, like, at all as a franchise. And Pokemon Sapphire. Uh, again, not one... I have not played that generation of Pokemon, now that I think about it. Uh, I've played Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 4, and Gen 5. And that's it. I personally like uh, Diamond and Pearl a lot. As much of a basic bitch take as that is. I actually considered doing a Pokemon retrospective one day, but that's so many games. That is so many games. Because I wouldn't just do mainline Pokemon. Like, I'd do Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Legends, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon... Uh, what else is there? Like, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon... Let's... Hey, you Pikachu, Pokemon Channel... Uh, the puzzle game, the puzzle league games, it, it, it's, it's a lot. I mean, I know Friday Night Funkin' sucks, but I mean, the songs though are just so good to listen to, including the mods as well as like witty soundtrack. I mean, I love, don't get me wrong. I, I really, I do like Friday Night Funkin'. It's more so that like the mods stopped being fun to me. And once the mods stopped being fun to me, it just kind of turned into I stopped playing Friday Night Funkin' and I'm just waiting for the full game to come out. Uh, whenever the fuck that's gonna be. There's a Godzilla NES mod? Of course there is. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they make a mod based off of a Godzilla creepypasta? Which, by the way, I know I just said creepypastas were shit. I really like the Godzilla NES creepypasta. It is really good. And it was, like, the first, like, Godzilla... It was the first video game creepypasta that made me be like, I would love for this to be a real game and for me to experience this. It is. It seems so cool. The sprite art was so good. It is awesome. You should try it out. The Ape Escape games are really good. I've heard. In fact, uh, the editor and a fellow podcast host, uh, Lucas uh really likes ape escape and forever wishes that there could be more ape escape but it probably will never happen because konami is mean uh the objective quality is hit or miss sometimes but i feel like frontiers did the one thing a sonic game should undeniably do Make you feel like a badass despite playing as a cartoon rat. I I mean, Frontiers, is for me, is pretty up there. Like, say what you will about the DLC, but, like... It was... Sonic Frontier... I think Sonic Frontiers was the first time in, in a long time where I played a Sonic game and felt like a kid again. Like... You could say maybe that for Sonic Mania, but I have a lot more of a tie. I have a lot more of an emotional investment in 3D Sonic than I do 2D Sonic. Like, I played a bunch of 2D Sonic when I was younger, but I always loved, like, the Sonic Adventure games and the games like that way more. But, like, Sonic Frontiers, to me, felt like a natural evolution from the adventure formula and i really like it for that Ooh, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and as you said in the previous message too, like Sonic Frontiers does make me hopeful for the future of the franchise. And the Friday Night Funko mod that stays true to the story. Oh yeah? For Godzilla? 
Impressive. I think, like, the last Friday Night Funkin' mod that I played where I was legitimately, like, stoked was the, uh, the second version of the Sonic.exe mod. And then, like, every other mod, like, paled in comparison. So I honestly think that the Sonic.exe mod ruined all other Friday Night Funkin' mods for me because it was so good. I like how Poppy Playtime is, like, a creepy version of Toy Story. I, in a sense, I guess. Toy Story doesn't really take place in a toy factory, but I understand what you're saying. Once again, I apologize for not having this prepared ahead of time. It pains me when stuff doesn't go exactly as planned. Also because, like, I then I feel like I'm, like, I'm not putting on a good show. And I know, like, a, a bunch of you guys don't care. And I know you guys enjoy the conversation, too. But I, I, it's just a, it's just a me thing. With that being said, uh, keep the questions coming. Uh, it's starting to get there uh, with the download. So any other questions would be uh, very valued. Deeply appreciated. I guess I could also take this time to say like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell. All that good shit. You got a merch store in the description where you can buy shirts, mugs, and stickers. Uh... You know, just shelling my stuff a little bit. I definitely agree with your statement about Frontiers making the player feel like a kid again. I got into Sonic during 2017, so a lot of my experience was based off of the things that already came out. That's interesting. Uh, because I've been playing Sonic ever since, for, literally for as long as I could remember. My first Sonic game was Sonic Spinball on the Sega Genesis. Uh, and then very quickly thereafter, I played Sonic 1. Uh, yeah, and then from then on, like, I remember my first, like, major Christmas present that I remember was getting a Sega Dreamcast and getting Sonic Adventure, and that was, like, huge. I used, I literally have vivid memories that Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 were so significant to me in my childhood. I remember being in kindergarten and singing City Escape to myself. The controversy with that mod? Oh, what, the Sonic.exe one? I, I wasn't aware. It's getting there. I should we get there a little bit faster, but it's not. Oh boy. Which controversy? Honestly, there are so many controversies in video games nowadays that I can't keep up. Nor do I really want to, but I'm curious now. I mean, when I played Mario Madness V2, they actually got a voice actor to voice game Mario, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Again, I've, just, I've never played it. I'm not even familiar with the creepypasta, really. Or maybe it's multiple, I don't know. 
But either way, like, maybe I'll play it, like, just on my own. I'm not really interested in streaming Friday Night Funkin' anymore. Uh, mostly because I've, I've, uh, I've seen what that community brings, uh, and I'm not a fan. For example, there was one time where a fan... A fan... Someone who came in to watch me play Friday Night Funkin' wanted me to play their mod. And the thing about my Friday Night Funkin' streams was that I always came in with 10 mods that I knew I was going to play and that was it. And that was the schedule. There was like, it was like no requests, no nothing. If you did request something, it could have been played next time. And chat just did not understand that. Uh, but then someone was so desperate that they joined my discord server and then messaged me personally to send me their mod. And I was like, don't do that. And I block them. <laughs> Because, like, one of... Literally, if you go into my Discord... If you go into the GCN Discord server and you go to the rules, the first rule is to not message any of us personally unless we give you express permission. And that is a rule that we are very strict about. Because we do not want you guys to breach our privacy. It's very important to us. Uh... Because when I heard the voice for Mario and the mod, it actually does sound like Charles Martinet. That's pretty cool. Because m the Mario voice is a lot tougher to do than you would um, than you would think. Like a lot of people usually just go like, "Hello, it's -a me." But it's like no, there's like a there's like a certain cadence to it where you just kind of like you have to kind of go like, "Hello, it's -a me, Mario, Yahoo!" Yeah, it's a tough it's a tough voice to do, like deceptively tough. We're approaching on two-thirds of the way there. Let's go. I mean, there's a lot of people who can do the Mario voice from Charles Martinet. It's deceptively tough, though. Because I don't even think um, Afghani does it that well. But he makes Mario his own, which is why it it works. Yeah, I try to stay away from the whole Friday Night Funkin' community, plus, although there's a lot of talent involved in that game and the mods, it's just not for me. Listen, I, there were a lot of mods that were really good, uh, and a lot of amazing musicians behind it. Uh, it was just the people that played it. It was the problem. And I, I'm, I'm not under the impression that, like, like, I know probably 90% of the people that came into those streams to watch them were kids. Uh, but for one thing, I am not a kid's channel. In fact, I have remembered there was someone that would come in that would literally actively tell me not to curse. And I was like, no, I say what I want. Uh, but yeah. Also, yeah, it's been 10 years since we... Since we had Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, we haven't had a new Donkey Kong game in f over 10 years. I know, man. I also want a new Donkey Kong Country game. It would be pretty dope. And what better time than now to have the triumphant return of King K. Rule? Y'all talking about the controversy about the creator of Sonic.exe? I mean, I know about that. And that one's pretty icky. Uh, I am not interested in talking about uh, what's his name? JC the Hyena? Not interested. Don't think so. I didn't talk about him in my Sonic.exe, uh, video that I did in October, and I am not gonna talk about him now. God fucking damn it. I hate it when people tell you that you're a kid's channel and that you have to act a certain way. Dude, I know. Dude, I, 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 even on some of the Kirby videos, I get people telling me not to swear, and I'm like, No. I'm like, for one thing, like, swearing is just my, I wouldn't say it's my sense of humor, because then that implies that, like, I think 
that just the fuck word is funny. It more so that like swearing is more so just ingrained in my natural speech and the way that because you know my reviews are written, but I write them in a way where I write them as if I'm just talking to you, as if I'm having a conversation about the game. So that's why there are swears in there because usually. I'm literally just saying, at, I'm just typing as if I'm speaking out loud. Bear in mind, I was using actual images of the character, nothing explicit. Wait, what was it? Earlier this month, I asked, earlier this month, I asked people what their favorite design for Sally Acorn was, and I used official images, and then this total Kevin told me I was posting porn, and that I'm supposed to be a kid's channel. That's fucking stupid. Uh, that, yeah, that's really fucking stupid. Like, one, you never marketed yourself as a kid's channel. I know you do Sonic content, but you know, I'm pretty sure you don't market yourself as a kid's channel. And for second, uh, I'm sorry that Sally Acorn just looks sexy, dog. Like, what are you gonna fucking do? I didn't design the character. I didn't make her look sexy. Anyway, before I out myself as a furry any longer, uh... I mean, do you think Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is better than Donkey Kong Country Returns? I haven't really played... I don't... No, I've never played Tropical Freeze, honestly. Uh, Jesus Christ. Something just banged into my door. Was it... Was it Huggy Wuggy? Uh, bring back King K. Rule. Correct. Fucking correct. It's so close. It's so close to being done. I'm marking myself as general audience. Most of my stuff can be watched by kids, but it's intended for teens and up for the most part. It's intended for the older fans of the series. <laughs> Here's Huggy. No! Uh, yeah, I mean, that's like the same here. It's like, you know, I talk about Kirby all... I, I've talked about Kirby for a year, but like, I'm not really out here to make content for the kids. I'm I'm not. I've made horror references in my Kirby videos. I have made sex jokes in my videos, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, I just kind of talk about whatever comes to mind. And really just leave it at that. <sighs> the worst part is when I pointed out the obvious fact of why is it bad for Sally not to have clothes when Sonic doesn't. He straight up made the argument, well, she's a girl. I mean, listen, it is weird for Sally not to be wearing clothes when every other girl in the franchise does, but also Sally Acorn was created in a in a pre-Amy Rose world. So there really wasn't a precedent yet. Oh, trust me. Trust me, comic fan, I understand. I understand how annoying some people online can be. I peruse Twitter. Uh, I have literally uh, debated on leaving Twitter because it's just... I've grown so tired of the negativity. What is the most Mario... What is the most annoying Mario enemy? Mine are the Hammer Bros. I mean, if you don't say the Hammer Bros, you're just not saying the correct answer. The Hammer Bros are, are the worst consistently in every game that they are in i do not like the hammer bros they can go eat my nards uh, you're so tantalizingly close I've been working on a lot of the Crash Retrospective videos uh, recently. Uh, I actually just finished, or I'm like halfway done editing the Crash Bash video. Uh, and I actually just finished completing Crash Nitro Kart. Uh, and boy howdy do I have some feelings on those games. Uh, I cannot wait for you guys to see those videos. Uh, because I think you will see a side of me that you don't usually that you i don't think you've seen 
in much of the Kirby retrospective. Uh, mostly because, and I guess this spoils a little bit of what I think of Crash Bash. Uh, you've never seen me review a bad game before? Like, truly bad? Uh, so it'll be fun. Uh, I guess it could be that one mouse antagonist from Mario 2. You mean Mauser? <laughs> Mauser is a fucking pushover. I mean, I like playing as Hammerbro in Mario Party 8, but in a mainline Mario game, nope. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't play as, like, the enemy characters in Mario Party. Like, the, the generic enemy characters. Like, I don't play as, like, Hammerbro or Goomba or Koopa or anything like that. Usually, if I'm playing, like, a Mario spinoff, party title like a party game or like a sports game i'm usually just fucking playing as waluigi always have ever since i was a kid even before waluigi was known as a meme i just really liked waluigi uh. <sighs> excuse my yawning Do you guys see that, like, Taco Bell did, like, an E3 conference to, like, promote their new menu items? And you know what? It's, it's weirdly good. It's weirdly, like, a hype event. Like, as soon as... Like... The moment I noticed that I had too much emotional investment in Taco Bell was when they announced that they were going to maybe make the nacho fries permanent. And I went, yo, let's go! And like, I'm like, what? I'm, I'm, I'm getting like as excited as like when Sonic X Shadow Generations was announced. But for Taco Bell, Smash's least favorite plumber. Dude, I fucking love Waluigi. All memes aside, I think he's really cool. And I think they... I think it would be really cool if they actually put him in a game. It's kind of weird how in Mario Party 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, they don't make Donkey Kong a playable character instead of making him a space in the board. Yeah, I kind of thought that was cool. Like, it was just like a new type of minigame that was more about getting coins than anything. Yeah, yeah, Taco Bell had like an E3-style conference where they just announced menu items... Uh, such as they're adding like a chicken cantina menu where they're going to have like a focus on fried chicken, including releasing chicken nuggets. Uh, and then also one of the weirder things I saw them reveal was that they're going to be releasing a Baja Blast uh, gelato and I think also a pie. Did you see Illumination make fun of AI art? I did. That was like a Super Bowl commercial, wasn't it? And it was like it was like the minions making AI art. Probably one of the most base things Illuminations has ever done. Dude, it, it was such a surreal experience watching a Taco Bell E3 conference and actually getting as hype as if it was, like, a real gaming conference. It was, it was really surreal, and I don't know how to feel about it. I will be back in just a second. I'm not even going to go on the BRB screen. I'm just going to get myself another drink. I will be... Right back. While I'm gone, I want you guys to put a bunch of questions in the chat uh, so that when I get back, I can answer them. Uh, I will answer your questions as soon as I get back.
I have returned. Uh, yo, Taco Bell Gaming PC. That'd be so funny. Uh, let's see. So what's your opinion on both Poppy's Playtime Chapter 1 and 2? Uh, Chapter 1 was a really promising tech demo. Uh, like the Huggy Wuggy Chase was pretty cool. Uh, Poppy's Playtime Chapter 2, uh, was a game that was really good at making me feel really dumb. Uh, I liked Mommy Longlegs as a villain, um, but I, overall, I kind of just thought it was okay, and I'm kind of hoping that, uh, this chapter is a little bit better. Uh, I used to think Poppy's Playtime was just kind of whatever, but I'm really impressed with the ambition of the game so far. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It does a lot of cool things, but I could also understand why some people just, like, aren't interested. Uh, do you know what I miss? Those crappy product placement games from the mid-2000s? Do you mean, like... Like, stuff that was literally just brand deals? Like, Pepsi Man? Did you see the Super Bowl 58? I actually did not. Uh, I'm not really that into sports. I'm not really into football. Uh, I, I, I was actually, uh, working on videos most of the night, uh, and also talking with, uh, the Push Our Buttons crew, just chilling. Uh, yeah, I'm not really into football. Uh, I was more interested in just getting stuff done that I wanted to get done. Uh, now the closest thing we have is the Miles Morales original, if you know, you know. Also, by the way, someone subscribed. Oh, did they? Shit. Uh, let me take a look. Thank you. I'm JC... What is this? I'm DJ Calderon. That's what it is. Thank you to I'm DJ Calderon for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Uh, I really liked Mommy. Just writing that down in the quote book. <laughs> hey, listen. That's, that's for Smashlander to put in the... Uh, in the out of context page on Twitter. By the way, if you are not uh, following at GCN OOC on Twitter, the clips that he grabs, mwah, beautiful, so fucking funny. You like, if there is ever like a supplementary page that you should go on to see some really hilarious shit, it is the GCN out of context page. Uh, Twitter page. Give that page a follow. Uh, it is so fucking funny. Literally every time the GCN Out of Context page um, uploads a clip, I like get giddy because I'm like, what the fuck did he get me doing now? What did he get me saying? I just, it's, it's a lot of fun. And you'll see a lot of funny quotes from like previous streams. I'm like watching myself in the in the fucking stream replay right now just like spinning over and over and I'm like oh my god stop moving <laughs> I didn't notice how bad I was doing it Jesus Christ I really like Mommy Longlegs. She's cool. She can kill me anytime. So the first Paramount Sonic movie turns four years old tomorrow. Does anyone else feel old? I feel old literally every time I get up in the fucking morning. Like, oh my god. 
the moment that I like, I like sympathize with people that are like, oh my God, I have so many aches and pains all the time. I'm like, oh my God, that's just me now. Jesus Christ. And, uh, and also just it dawning on me that like, it just dawns on me sometimes that like this April I'm turning like 28 years old and it's, I don't like it. I just don't like it. Uh, that and also like whenever, cause like I go to, a, I, I work at a GameStop. So like some, sometimes people come in looking for like classic stuff, but then sometimes they're like, oh yeah, I want the real classic shit like Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And I'm like, God damn, those games really are just almost 20 years old now, aren't they? I fucking hate it. Like, fucking, the Nintendo Wii came out in 2005. That's literally 19 years ago. Yucky. I don't like it. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 is a 23-year-old game. I don't like it. Also, for anyone crazy enough to still be playing Sonic Superstars other than me, I think there's supposed to be a free update for a Shadow Skin on the 15th. I wonder how they're going to handle that. Uh, yeah, so we should be getting a... I do know we're getting a Shadow Skin for Sonic Superstars. Honestly, I don't really think I'm going to be playing that game ever again. I'm, I've am i had my fill. Did I fucking beat it? No, I haven't beaten the dragon. I'm not, I don't really care to. Uh, I already looked up the ending... It was just as underwhelming as I thought it was going to be. Uh, and here we are. <laughs> what do you mean over 20 years old? It It's approaching. Xbox 360, the Wii, and PlayStation 3, those are like... Those came out in like 2005, 2006. It's 2024 now, my guy. 20 years for, for those consoles is going to be in a year or two. Isn't that fucked up? Yeah, although I enjoy the game for the most part, clearly it didn't know how to tell a narrative without voice acting, and a lot of the bosses were just badly designed. Oh, yeah. I mean... I wouldn't say Sonic Superstars is a bad game by any means. It's just, I don't know. It's just okay. I stopped playing Superstars when I couldn't beat the Eggman final boss. Uh, I had a lot of... The Eggman final boss, I can't really gauge just because, like... um, I beat that with friends. So it was a lot easier. Other than that, though... Um... The Fang final boss was ridiculous. And the Dragon final boss is just unreal. Like, I just can't. Stop, stop, I'm feeling old, stop. I know, it's the worst. Although, not to brag, but last time I fought the final boss, I did beat it on my second try, so that means I just got lucky and it doesn't make me a good player. That's just how the Dragon final boss works. Is You just have to get kinda lucky. And the problem is, is that I... I'm not very lucky. <laughs> oh my god. I still think how does a flower have boobs in Conker's Bad Fur Day? Apparently you thought of it so much that you're, you're bringing it up now for, for some random reason? I don't know, man. Why don't you feel them? I don't know. 
Do you think they just feel like leaves? What the fuck? Really? Sorry, I, sorry if I'm a little distracted. Uh, I'm trying to get the game up now. Finally, we're here. Uh, anyway, let's see what you're saying to me uh, right before uh, we start. Although, not to brag, but last time I fought the final boss, I, uh, I read that already. I think I've said this before, but even if it is a solo play exclusive, they should have had some team elements, so they could have done something like Sonic Adventure to where you could swap to regain rings. That would be pretty cool. Uh, you know, if... I was to throw my hat into the ring of this whole mascot horror trend, I think I would go for more of a psychological horror. Maybe I would explicitly known that everything going on is just in the character's head. Uh, but the challenge of the game is, do you stay in your fantasy land or do you face the horrors of reality? Say hi to the smiling critters for us. I'll do my best. In the aftermath of the train crash, you now find yourself stranded in the depths with a new goal in your sights. Okay. Here we go. What's the time? Playtime! Play oh, look at that. The smiling critters. Look at them. They look terrifying. Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Uh, 
Hello? Who is it? Oh, it's the, you. Ah. Uh. Catnap! Please, help us go to sleep, Catnap. We need it, Catnap. Please help us. Sleep, sleep, sleep! Why are you so creepy in your own universe? Okay. Knows, Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime. But yeah. Are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series. Why does this guy look kind of familiar? To celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Why is it so Now with controversy upsetting. growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. Oh my goodness. Honestly, how did their company not get shut down sooner when they release stuff like that to the masses? Yeah, literally. Most evil corporations would try to be subtle. At least ask Jeff Bezos. Oh, man. Dude. That's wild. Also, why, what is with this toy company and just releasing the creepiest fucking toys? At least Freddy Fazbear tried to be cute. Hello? Game? Hello? Are we just loading or did we crash? Catnap said no. Apparently, I'm taking a catnap. Uh... All right, hold on. Give me a second. I don't know why this is giving me so much fucking trouble. Give me a moment. Is that I might have to install a, an update to my driver for the uh, for the graphics card for this game. That's modern gaming for you. Modern gaming is not very nice to me. So let me try doing this, and then uh, we'll try again. Hopefully, this doesn't take very long. Excuse me. I'm also going to open a window. It's getting kind of warm in here.
All right, well, I guess Q&A continues, considering I have to install this fucking update. Because uh, nothing wants to go smoothly right now. Because modern gaming wants me to eat my own ass. I feel like I always have a problem with Poppy's Playtime. It always gives me an issue. It's almost done installing. Not as big as a game. What is my favorite superhero? Uh, probably Spider-Man. I know it's such a basic bitch pick, but Spider-Man really is my favorite. Specifically, my favorite Spider-Man is Superior Spider-Man, just because I think that is a really interesting storyline. Uh, I also like Batman a lot, and I also like Deadpool a lot. I saw the, um... The trailer for the new movie, it looked really cool. It looked really fun. I like how fucking Deadpool's like, I'm gonna fucking rock your cinematic universe. Alright. That should do it. GTX 1070. really just trying to get this fucking thing to work. <sighs> if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Um... I don't know. What would it be? Invisibility, maybe? Or invincibility. Invincibility, I think I would pick. Just the ability not to get hurt by anything. Teleportation for me. Ah, oh, teleportation's a good one. My God, is being so mean to me. Come 
really just trying to get this fucking game to work. Jesus Christ. Why is this game giving me so much trouble? Hold on. Personally, I would want atom manipulation. It would essentially make you a god as you could control pretty much anything that physically exists. That would... That, that's a pretty good, like, loophole superpower, yeah. Update my drivers, please. Like, why do I have to download so much shit just to play this game? You could turn a tin can into a Lambo. That's really funny. Yeah, I, yeah but it, wouldn't it need to still be like... Like, it would be a Lamborghini, sure, but, like, wouldn't it be a Lamborghini the size of a tin can? Because you wouldn't be able to, like, you wouldn't be able to create or destroy matter. You would just have to work with the atoms you have. Immortality would not be worth it. Let's hope after this update that I can finally finally just fucking like play the game okay admittedly maybe the lambo thing would be pushing it a bit but you could spread out the molecules to make the thing bigger no i don't think that's how molecules work Because if you spread out molecules, you're just creating gas. Hmm. Please work, please work, please work. so annoying <laughs> I never claimed to be a scientist in my defense <laughs> that's pretty funny if I don't understand it maybe I shouldn't have that be my ability I mean, it would be a good way to learn. Just don't collide atoms, because that's how you make a nuclear explosion. Welcome to the most boring fucking Poppy's Playtime Chapter 3 fucking live stream on the face of the planet. <sighs> Part of me is just ready to fucking give up and just try it next week. Ugh, it's so annoying. 
if it doesn't work after installing this graphics driver, I'm just going to say try. I'm just going to try again another week, as, as shitty as that is. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, trial and error, although that might result in me turning some guys, some people into goo on accident, or at least an accident as far as you guys know. <gasps> it's any consolation, I've already gotten two ads during the live stream, so you'll at least get paid. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you guys are seeing that side of it. <laughs> And unless YouTube decides that this live stream is not advertiser friendly like they've done for two out of the three live streams from last week. Oh my goodness. Make that four ads. I literally just got two more. Oh, thank you for the money. <laughs> I'm running out of steam a little bit and I just want to see if I can get the game to work uh, I'm going to go on the BRB screen for a little bit uh, I'm going to wait for this uh, driver to finish installing if even after it installs the game does not work I'm going to try again next week uh, yeah sorry like it's, it's just not it's not going but like I'm going to try my best, but while I wait, I'm probably just going to go actually eat my dinner. Uh, so I will be right back. Mm -hmm. 